Hey guys, how's it going? We are back with control. Uh, we've discovered that Jesse is the P7 of the Prime Candidacy Program and we're now heading towards uh, the ordinary AWE area, which is the slide projector, I believe, that Jesse was uh, referring to the actual event that triggered, seems to have triggered everything. Like we've got so many questions like, uh, whether Jesse arriving in New York is uh, something linked to the hiss or linked to the FBC going the way that it's gone or whether that was coincidental whether Jesse was being monitored outside of the FBC while Dylan was being monitored inside to see which one developed their powers or their directorial abilities who knows there's genuinely a lot that we don't know, but we're going to press forward. We're going to continue towards the ordinary AWE area. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope that you're enjoying this story as much as I am, because I think this is absolutely incredible. Uh, it just sparks so much intrigue that I just want to play it. I just want to play through and... Uh, answer all the questions i'm hoping that there's no loose ends at the end of this game otherwise i'm going to be really really upset but again i want to thank you for joining me uh we're going to press forward to the ordinary awe area let's get to it you'll have to forgive me guys with the fans going in the background the playstation is absolutely bonkers right now so you might hear it in the background as i'm talking um, I've tried to adjust the audio level so much that it cuts most of it out, but that's not what I want. That wasn't what I wanted to do. <coughs> Excuse me. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. I hope I don't run into any big bad enemies before I get a chance to sort all of this stuff out. I'm guessing you have to take these generator cubes and sync them all up. See, there's another one there. There's another cube here. Okay, we're still showing red. Now, where do you go? Nothing over there, nothing over there, nothing over there, nothing over there. Okay, we'll put you down there for a second. Because the elevator did open. So let's go check out the elevator, see what's going on. Mission updated. Bad guys. Bad guys. Bad guys. Bad guys. I need some more help. So that's, that's kind of topped off all of my health, right? Airplane evaluation order. Uh, the airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Blank, Cincinnati. It was suspected to be connected to the Blank AWE. CK file Blank for details. 
and is being evaluated for an altered status. The plane is currently being stored in transit corridor in the containment sector, uh, brought there through the New York subway tunnel. Uh, special access blank for more information on eternal blank and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations abandoned tracks and blank uh, the plane's black box is currently being evaluated for blank blank and initial readings have been taken by a research team though no altered status has yet been detected I wonder if that is the plane that somebody referred to earlier in one of the earlier episodes where they had to examine every like nut and bolt and every sort of like minute detail of the exterior of a plane wonder if it's the same one ordinary AWE So yeah, map-wise, it looks like I'm venturing towards the right area. He just fired... Oh, I thought he fired a rocket at himself. I genuinely thought that that idiot fired a rocket at himself. Ordinary AWE Stage 1A. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on the shelf. There were lots of dolls. Dolls are creepy as shit. I hope there's no dolls. Uh, the house was empty when no one lived there. Uh, we played there a lot. Uh, the house was empty. No one lived there. We played there a lot. It was our secret playhouse, JF. Oh, okay, so this is interviews with Jesse and Dylan, by the look of it, by the look of the initials. Uh, I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Uh, Note, lightly, Neil Husenberg, miss him. Uh, it was mean, he had asthma. Tom, note, lightly, Tom Barlow, missing, And his gang, Freddie, likely Frederick Bartwell, Hugo. Uh, note, no one by his name is final public records, bullied him. Uh, we brought Neil to the dump to play. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. Oh my. So the slide projector, was that like... The... The light switch, where it was a conduit, where you had a look at... You could travel to the slides? This is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Colin. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, that's bullshit. Caller, maybe 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just... My brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but... It wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? What? I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces. But we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Wayne. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. That is kind of crazy. So the whole town disappeared. 
Uh, an AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary, caused by an object of power, a slide projector. Uh, discovered by local children in a dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Wow. Uh, on August 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at a local dump when they found a, found a discarded slide projector uh, and done a presentation. Did I? Uh, a team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides uh, which had been burned without, with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. Uh, in total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews and prime candidate program files. Whoa. Oh, mate, there's loads. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world. Yeah, there's loads of lore today. World events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. Okay. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Like the slide projector. I try? Ordinary AWE Stage 4A. Uh, Jesse and me followed the, dr the dung monkeys to the cave. Uh, there was a lot of them. More of the kids from the town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. Dung monkeys? Uh, they were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like uh, a dog. Like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Uh, Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. He think he liked being a dog. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Uh, Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Uh, extrapolated information. Additional slide designation hand is verified in and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation dog Neil. Brilliant. Neil, the dog boy. Uh, ordinary AWE. So what, do we continue going this way? There's bad guys and another tape recorder, so... I would say so. It looks like there's a control point there as well. Ordinary AWE Stage 2. Uh, after what happened at school, Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. DF interview 2012. Uh, 2002. Tom and his troglodytes were used using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. 
uh, they'd been using the temple slide uh, we called it but it was really a broken concrete thing like a warehouse or bomb shelter in something very dark uh, the not mother lived there with her baby's children I don't know she was feeding Tom and the others her milk uh, they were changing into little monsters we called them dung monkeys what the fuck unconfirmed existence of an additional slide designation temple unconfirmed existence of a parent not mother whoa that's mental. Annual evaluation of Dylan Fagan, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Colavon. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling, he's out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come in. He never visits, not since Robert. See, tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Oh my goodness. What gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. <laughs> or something like a dog. What day is it today? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send the bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... Did he make her do an explode? Oh my goodness, so we now have dog boys and not mothers and children drinking milk and becoming dung monsters. <laughs> like, genuinely. <laughs> uh, this is fucking bonkers. AWE stage 1B. Uh, the second slide we called the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers in there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. Uh, it must have been doing. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. Uh, in the dreams, everything was melting, and then we would come out. Everything had melted around the projector. That was Jesse talking that one. Uh, Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. Uh, he and his goons took it. Uh, we thought Neil got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but it's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of an additional slide designation. Meadow. Four B. Uh, we went in and met Polaris like a star. Uh, she told us we were special. She made us special. It felt like being born or reborn. The world fading in for the first time. Familiar but somehow different. Uh, Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Uh, Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. 
I took all the slides and burned them all except and unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation Polaris oh my god um let's press, press the big red button down there page one um oh dear Take you as well, mate. See if you can help. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Um, little help, guys. Little help. ordinary dump site. Let's follow the arrows and head that way. And another tape recorder. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very what? well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's your brother, that is really also you? Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No, Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No! It wasn't an accident. There was it no was not an accident. accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something 
Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know the you let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. So she was she detained in a like a psychological facility? They said they can't let her go until she's well. Oh, what if she's still in there? And it's all a dream. <laughs> Ordinary supplement. Uh, details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. See interviews for relevant information. Uh, and the abstained therapy uh, and the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that the accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. For example, Dylan Faden claims that there were eight slides for the projector, Jesse mentions nine. Uh, the Bureau found one intact slide and burnt remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. <clears throat> Jesse Faden believes it is believed to be the individual responded responsible for burning the slides. Uh, Dr. Darlin has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town brump dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Oh god guys, is Jesse bonkers and this is all inside her own head. Cause that could be a thing, right? They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Yeah, pretty unbelievable. Uh, dump cessation of work order. Uh, by order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is stopped effectively immediately. Uh, resources will be allocated to the blank department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed off at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides? Uh, the type used in slide projectors found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Oh, well, this looks like it's going to be a bit of a battle arena. And there we go, right on cue. Head down here and see what enemies have spawned. Have a fridge, mate. What did you chill out, bird boy? Hard. 
Damn. We should check that lab. Right, let's have a run around first and oh my god, my PlayStation sounds like it's about to explode. Um in this one? Yes. Search Darling's lab for the slide projector. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. What? Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Oh, creepy bastard. Oh my goodness, guys. The face of the enemy has been completed. Finish Tango. Uh, okay, guys. So I don't know. I don't know where we're at. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, I'm not even going to try and summarise this episode because it's all a bit bonkers. But we'll see what happens in the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos. I just, I've got no words, guys. This has been going on for a lot longer than uh, the time period of this game. Let's find out what happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.